Hey guys, Tom from Something RS here, and welcome to the first of the series that I'm going to call Rags to Riches. So I'm going to make a record of every single bit of money that I make in a spreadsheet that I've just made for myself. It sounds really nerdy, I know, but it, it'll be worth it, trust me. And I'm going to see how long it takes me to get 100 mil cash profit through any means necessary other than gambling and scamming and that kind of thing. So... I will also record every bit of expense that I like spend on making money as well, so you'll get to know exactly what I'm doing. But I won't record minor things like tele tabs and that kind of thing, because that'd just be kind of tedious and annoying. And I'll probably edit the video and have like a little display that says how much profit I've earned so far. So I'm going to start off really quickly by showing you some of the stuff I do as soon as I log in each day because I've pretty much just got home from university right now. So the first thing I usually do is do my Squeal of Fortune spins. So let's do that now. Ooh, medium XP lamp. And a small XP lamp. That's awesome. I, I like getting XP lamps because I usually use them on summoning because I hate training summoning the normal way. So free XP in that skill is always awesome. And I'm not far off a level either, so that should be 89 soon. <clears throat> okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is my daily challenge, which I've already pinned, and it's to make three extreme magic potions. So let's go to the GE. All right, now it's time to get the ingredients for three magic extreme potions. So let's get magic pot, Make sure it's three dose and get three of them. Okie dokie. And then we need to grind three mud runes. Wow, they've gone up in price, I think. I don't remember them being that expensive. Okay. So this is a pretty simple challenge, as you can imagine. I don't think I'll get much from doing this, but... I usually get something a bit better than that. But hey, it's free herb lore experience. So I'll just go to hand this uh, challenge in. And then I'll show you what I usually do next. Alright, so I'm just going to hand in that challenge now. Even though it was extremely easy. And it looks like we've got 6k herb lore XP and a free squeal spin as well as a mystery bag. I'll do the squeal of fortune spin first. See what we get. And it's 5k, so that's 5k profit already. Doing good. Let's see what's in the bag. Runeite Ore. Even more awesome. Alrighty then. So now what I'm going to do is... Uh, some people might not know about this, so I'll just tell you about it. If you're on Lunar Spells a lot, then you'll want to consider doing the Contact NPC spell every day and contacting Bert the Sandman. You must have done the Hand in the Sand quest for this, just so you know. And then spam, 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 spam dialogue. And then, there you go. Free sand in the bank, and you can sell that on the GE. So I'm just going to get my Wicked Hood out, and my Tuckle Zoe. I'll just put them on for now. But what we're going to do is go back to the Grand Exchange and sell some shit. So I'll see you there. Alright, time to sell stuff. So then, let's sell the sand. You usually have to put this down a bit so that it actually sells. And that's 20,748 GP, not bad. Let's sell the Runite Ore. And that fetches us 10,190. I'll add this up on screen so you don't have to do the maths yourself. Alright then, so we're already quite a bit up. And next what we're going to do is the Wicked Hood. So I'm just going to deposit this stuff and I'll just get these pouches out. I have millions and millions of massive pouches because I got 99 rune crafting through the rune span. So I've got enough pa massive pouches to last me a while, but I just uh, fill these up like so. Ah, oh, bloody hell. See, one of my pouches has just degraded, 
And that's another reason why I stay on Lunar Spells most of the time, is because you can do the Contact NPC spell, Contact the Dark Mage, and then after spamming through some dialogue, you can ask him to repair your pouches. And there you go, a fixed pouch. So I'm just going to make these death runes, because that's what makes the most money, I believe, at the minute. And I'll just talk to you about other stuff whilst I'm doing this. So I'm not quite sure how to format this series properly just yet. I'm just sort of going with the flow today, but it won't always be like this, I promise. Uh, I'm thinking I might just show highlights of stuff that I'm doing to make money and then just sort of do like a reel of live... I'll probably live commentate the clips as well, but I'm still not decided on that. I think it might be better to just do a post-production sort of commentary over it so it's, it's not so boring or whatever. But yeah, I don't know if you guys want me to talk about other stuff whilst I'm doing this kind of thing because I think if I just... Um, commentate like, oh, I did this and then I did that to make money. Th that made me this much. I think that could just get really tedious and boring. So if you want me to talk about stuff during this video, then, well, not this one, but in future videos, then let me know. Uh, I keep asking, I know I've, I keep asking you guys f to leave comments and stuff, but I really do like need you to leave comments so that I know what you guys want. Random jump cut just because I fucked up the commentary after that. But yeah, I want you guys to leave comments telling me what you want. So I know which videos do well and which ones don't, just judging by the amount of likes and dislikes and how many views the video actually gets. Because, well, generally, if a video gets less views, then obviously less people are interested in watching that kind of thing. So uh, I know my vlogs usually don't do very well because I know you guys aren't interested in what I have to say most of the time, but, you know, shit happens and you just got to deal with it, so. I'm almost done here with these death runes. And I'm just going to take these out as well. In fact, I'm just going to jump straight to after I've just finished this, because this could be quite boring to watch. Alright, so death runes are now made, and I'm in Catherby, and I'm going to charter a ship to Uglog. And that's costing me 1,700 gold, so that's something to count. I shall just put that into my spreadsheet right here. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that voice was, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let's go and mine some... Uh, I forgot what it is. Is it red sand or redstone? Something like that. But, well, this has quite high requirements, but uh, if you're anywhere near the level requirement to do this, I would strongly recommend doing it, because it will make you quite a big chunk of money each day, and it really does add up. It's red sandstone, and it makes you potion flasks. I'm sure you all knew that anyway, but whatever, just thought I'd clarify. But, um, yeah, as I've said before, I don't really know what to talk about in these videos just yet, but... Today I thought I'd just talk about my plans for future videos that I have right now and some real life stuff as well because it's been a while since I made those real life vlogs that I made a few weeks ago. So, right. So the videos that I've got planned so far, I want to do another machinima like the unreleased fishing trailer that I did but for another skill. If you haven't seen that video and you don't know what I'm on about then I'll leave an annotation link on the screen right now. So you can go and watch it and get an idea for what I'm getting at. I was thinking to do one of those videos for either prayer or mining. Just because I feel that I could probably get a few good jokes out of that. So feel free to leave any ideas that you have for those videos. Um, but you know, I don't expect many comments, but whatever. So another video that I really want to do is I did a tour of al Karid video a few well, I think it was about a month or two ago, and this was before the recent Al Karid graphical rework. So I want to do another tour of Al Karid, like because it's changed since I made that video, obviously. So I want to be able to sort of do a comparison of before and after. But the only problem with that 
is that Alcarid for me personally at the minute it's really laggy on high detail. I, I get literally about I'm lucky to get about five frames per second on high detail, and I don't want to do it on low detail just because I want like to I want to give it its justice if that makes sense. I want to I want to do Alcarid ju its justice. So I might have to wait until I've upgraded my PC, which I'm currently looking into. But that could, that could still be a while yet before I actually upgrade it. Or I could just wait for the HTML5 client to come out and hopefully that will be a bit more sort of efficient than this Java client. Um, plans for future videos. I need more topic suggestions for my Monday rants, which I'm going to call Rant Monday. Uh, this is why I keep asking for comments because I, I really do need your guys' feedback. So I, want, I need to know what you're interested in. So if you want me to talk about the recent bot and eBay thing and the whole bot thing that hasn't really worked, then uh, let me know and I'll talk about that next Monday. Because so I am going to stick to this schedule that I've set and I'm going to try my best to do that. So I'm going to tell you about some real life stuff now. In fact, I'm going to finish off this uh, potion flask thing because you, buy, you guys are probably getting bored of this and then I'll talk about some real life stuff once I've done the potion flasks. Alright, I've just made all my potion flasks as you can see, all 50 of them and I've got 540 death runes so now I'm going to go to the Grand Exchange and sell this shit. I just want to apologize for the length of this video because I know it's really long and probably really boring as well but um, I'm going to talk about real life stuff another time I've just decided I might just make a random webcam vlog again or something if, if you're interested. Um, during the week I will save up my squeal of fortune spins and not use them. In fact I'll tell you all that stuff in a, in a minute so uh, what have I got? 210100. Oh, oh, oh. That's 210100. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that's cool. See, that's why you should try and get potion flask uh, level requirements if you can, because 200k a day for basically doing sod all, it's, it's quite good, and it only takes about 10 minutes. And let's see how much we get for these death runes. That's 148500. Alright, so that brings our total profit today, just from doing daily stuff, to 379949GP, which is about 380k. That is awesome. So I'm just going to quickly wrap up this video by saying that I will save up my squeal spins during the week and I won't use them. I'll try and save them till the next uh, Wednesday video to use them. And I'll also keep track of any sort of other profit and loss that I make. In fact, what I'm going to do right now is I will... I will just bank all my cash. And then I'll bring out... What was the number? 379949. So anything I make above that, I will know that... Well, that, it'll just make it easier for me to keep track of during the week. And at the start of next week's video, I will just summarize what I've earned during the week and stuff like that. And then I'll sell what I produce through these daily stuff uh, at the start of the video. I won't be showing this daily run that I've just done today in every video because that get really tedious and boring. I'll do more interesting stuff like uh, frost dragons, clay swords, that kind of thing. Uh, if you made it this far into the video, say Ooglog in the comments. I'll be interested to know how you guys spell that. <laughs> um, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it, and I need your feedback on it if you want me to do anything differently. And I'll see you next week.